opportunity to present ourselves and uh, Dominique, mm -hmm. it's good to meet you. Yes. yes, so yes, I do teach and I enjoy my students thoroughly. I also am lucky enough to perform um, during the day I practice and then in the afternoons I teach and then I practice again at night typically, especially perform performing a recital or a big concerto or whatever. Um, so I had uh, the luck in graduate school to find this marvelous gem of an instrument. Um, my husband and I were not looking to buy an instrument, but we actually ended up going to see it because we saw in the paper advertised 1912 Mason and Hamlin, double B, seven foot, uh, $6,900. And we said to ourselves, oh no, I'm sure it's just not a good piano at all, but I couldn't resist and I had to go see it. So I drove out to the hill country of Austin, Texas. We were going to U UT at, the, at that time and fell in love with this instrument. Uh, we were, like I say, so blessed to find it. Um, this piano is, you know, it's been a workhorse. Um, you know, when you think of an instrument that you can use as a concert pianist, you know, you're, you're looking for an instrument that is colorful, you know, in all the registers. Uh, that's what you'd think of as a nine-foot piano, but this is a seven-foot, and it had all the colors of a nine-foot, and actually more than most nine-foots I've ever played. Uh, so back in the day, the 1912 was, you know, a really well-built piano. Uh, besides the fact that uh, it was just so beautiful uh, in resonance and the singing tone and clarity, bell-like quality all the way through, the lightness of the action was an extremely important facet for me as a teacher and someone who practices, you know, many, many, many hours a day. So I knew that my personal injury problems, you know, would probably not be there much. And, and that has been the case, definitely. I've been very fortunate in that respect. Uh, so this, this room has been the room for run-throughs, for performances, for rehearsals galore, and lots and lots of teaching little ones all the way through age 80. And uh, I am the fortunate soul to have these beautiful people come to my house so I can work with them. But uh, what saw me on the piano was basically this, like I was saying, the colorful variety of registers. So I thought I would just give an example of what I did when I first saw the piano. Um, started out with uh, playing some stately Bach. sonatas and concerti and this is just a part of this piano sonata that has an operatic cadenza. Thank you. 
was uh, I ended up uh, luckily playing mini concerti with the Wilmington Symphony here in North Carolina. Um, each time working very hard on perfecting all the details and again having this lovely instrument to work with. So um, the last concerto I, I played here was Ramaroff III, as Paula mentioned, and uh, as you all know, it's a very difficult work. Um, it took really all of my doing in life to keep up with it, basically, for about 10 months. And that's all I did was breathe and, you know, sleep, think, rock my mouth. Um, and, you know, this, this piano, again, was able to be a, uh, a great deliverer of the passion and emotion, colors, dynamics, everything you think of when you think of late romantic 20th century music. And so um, when I performed this piece, uh, the, the Women's Symphony actually moved my piano to Keenan Auditorium for me to play. And so I have my best friend with me. What a joy, what a joy. Uh, so I thought I'd play just a little bit of what um, Rock Third sounds like, again, on this great Mason and Hamlin, built over 100 years ago. <clears throat> This is one of his favorite pianos, the Mason and Hamlin. And so how appropriate it was to have this instrument to uh, perform the Rock Third and to feel, like I said, I, you know, it's my home, home away from home, having my instrument with me. Uh, it certainly relieved the anxiety I had. And uh, I wasn't sleeping well, you know, I wasn't thinking well. There were a lot of uh, difficulties concerning this piece in particular. And um, one of the things that makes it, I think, particularly hard is that every phrase, whether it be lyrical or fast, wild and crazy, or calm, um, each phrase is awkward. And so you must have nice big hands and uh, all the techniques just ready to go and a keen memory. So um, I found that, again, practicing on this piano helped me tremendously because of the you know, the ease of it and the colors, and I didn't have to fight anything, and uh, fortunately never injured myself working on this piece with this instrument. Um, so I, uh, I have a fantastic treasure in my home. Okay. 